morning guys. Just filled up water and we're leaving the SeaTac rest area. I gotta say, it is so nice actually. Speaking of, I was just about to mention that. It is so nice having state patrol finally hanging out at these rest areas again. And they just swing through. And I was talking to one of the officers a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. We were talking to one of the troopers about two weeks ago. And I, I mentioned, I said, hey, I'm so glad that you guys are, are hanging out. Because all of the, the nonsense, right? The, the people that like move in there and don't move for weeks on end. Now, and we just, we stop by on the weekends, refill our, our tanks and, you know, and use them as they're intended. In the one area, there's an area for truckers, there's an area for cars, and there's an area for RVs. If you get so many cars in the RV spot, that, you know, it's just, it's uh, it's a whole thing when there's plenty of room in the car area. And it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But he goes, yeah, are you guys familiar with the area? And I'm like, kind of, kind of. And he saw our plates from South Dakota. He said, you must not be from here, but uh, yeah, I hate coming here. He goes, it is disgusting. <laughs> but the fact that he shows up and he actually like, keeps things, you know, he's just following the rules, right? There's a place for everybody and don't overstay your welcome. And hey, don't sell drugs out of here. It has kept, uh, it's kept the rest area a lot nicer, I think. Yeah. It's some little things though, so. And there aren't people living there anymore. No, which is great. Like come in, use it temporarily and uh, move on. Like there's not, and there's nothing wrong as long as you stay within the rules, right? And I get it though. It's like you have water and sewer right there so you can dump your tanks. I get the appeal, but. Come on. Today we are going to head out to the Washington State Fair. So it's going on like most of this month, I think September 2nd through 25th. And Emma actually scored free tickets. So why would we not go? That's pretty great. The temperatures though are supposed to be at like 93 degrees. And then tomorrow it'll be in the like low to mid 70s. So Let's hope that's not the case because I'm not going to leave the dogs in here panting up a storm. But it, it, but it is nice actually being out in the Redmond Kirkland area there because the dogs love that park. I like that park. And we can, we can run them through the week as well and let them go and uh, take a swim rather than just on the weekends. So that's great. Here's something funny. So we were at the Rad Power Bike store, which by the way, it, it sucks that we got the bikes and then we still were waiting for something for our rack. Otherwise I'd be out cruising on that thing. I don't, I don't know, I'm so excited to, to get it, ride it and mod it and uh, get rid of that seat because that is a piece of crap. It's like, it literally is like riding on a brick. It digs into your, your leg. Anyways, there was a gentleman there, like one of the coolest guys. It's one of those guys that like, they're always just chill, right? Like they have nothing, nothing but nice things to say. Like they're very intelligent, but they're kind of quiet. So you may not even know that. I've gotten a real keen eye for, for spotting these types of folks. Cool dude. And, and we were kind of chatting about YouTube and, and bikes yesterday while picking up our, our Rad Runner Plus. He had said he has a YouTube channel as well. It's called AHOD, A-H-O-D Bikes. And I couldn't find it for whatever reason in the search. So I, ended up, I did eventually find it uh, after being very specific with my terms. I'll link it down below because it's, if you're, if you are looking for e-bikes or at least you want to review and to know, because even if you watch one review of a bike, you at least have some context for what people look for in these bikes. And who better to learn from than somebody that actually works at a bike shop, right? It actually works for one of the, the e-bike manufacturers, right? So you might find it interesting, really cool dude. And I, he, he got a lot of views on his, his review video, but he has no subscribers. So <laughs> well, we talked about how like how difficult it is to actually get subscribers. I, I think I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but again, like for all of you guys who have recently subscribed, welcome and thanks for the sub. It's, it's funny because it kind of like the way that the YouTube algorithm works is it's kind of you bust your butt for video after video after video and then you finally get subscribers or you get a lucky break and then you have one really good video like everybody's that's <laughs> one of those things but anyways if if you're interested in, in the e-bikes topic definitely give them a sub cool guy let's go grab breakfast sandwiches real quick and then we'll head out to the fair
Emma and I concur about this, but I, I find it, um, it violates my personal constitution to pay for parking. And they want 18 bucks to park for the day at the actual fairground. Other people are like, 10 bucks to park here in my driveway. Which firstly, the, apparently the market's hot. So I ain't even mad at just, just capitalism, right? But I don't know what it is, but I am so wildly against paying for parking. We're gonna park a little bit farther out and we have our bikes. So we'll just bike in because I would rather spend that 10 to 18 bucks on junk food at the fair than on parking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, that just bugs me. What do you guys think? Clearly like people pay for parking. Any of you guys feel this way? Like, or am I just like the oddball out here? That also makes a lot of sense why a lot of school districts in the state of Washington got free tickets to give the students and teachers. Because then you still have to pay for parking and for food and for games and activities. They're, they're still making their money out Every single thing, yeah. I feel crotchety now. I'm very, oh man, get off my lawn. Oh, look at that little little bowl over there. We found a spot and I don't think I showed you guys the Japanese maple, which I'm legitimately amazed is doing as well as it is. He was getting pretty darn tall, so I went ahead and trimmed her down. I mean, just doing so well. Look at this. And you got a, an offshoot. I trimmed it down just so that when it does get too big, I, I didn't want to trim too much. And then of course it dies. But from what I'm seeing here, the new leaves tend to be red, except for this guy. That's that's interesting. And then they, when they're kind of teenagers and adults, they're green. And then they turn purple when they're, you know, they're getting up there in age and ready to shed. God, what a beautiful, what a beautiful little plant. When it's ready, we'll, we'll repot it. But uh, yeah, that's great. Look at the potato. I, <laughs> I have no idea if this guy is, wow. That is, uh, that's an interesting experiment, but. I am a wiener and I'm actually very afraid of heights. And so Emma might take some rides. I choose not to because I don't want to die. Let's see what they have to offer. Thankfully, we're here before the crowd gets real bad. But these temperatures are, are going up. And look at, look at this gondola thing. Maybe Joel wouldn't be a stuffed animal like the man he is. tickets and I did ask there are things for people like me there's a night that gondola ride all the way around the skyline there is what is that thing a merry-go-round there is a merry-go-round and there are bumper cars and, and there's, there's a slide over there
petting customs are here, if you have to ask permission and such, but that cow was begging to be pet, so. What is one to do? Great news guys, I have found out that I am 17 and a quarter hands high and Emma is 17 hands high, so pretty good numbers there. That ride was a big old nope. How was it? I had fun. You had a bird's eye view. It wasn't there. I thought I could handle it. I was wrong. So bumper cars it is.
was fun. I think the fair is not quite my place, but uh, she had fun. I had fun. And Joel and me a frog. So, you know, that's what I do. So I hope you found that kind of interesting. And we have some running around to do, some errands. I don't think that's going to be very interesting to film, so. I hope you had fun. We had fun. Yeah. Are you guys fair people? And if so, why? I think because I'm a wiener, I'm not trying to go on some of these rides. But I do love to uh, see the animals and occasionally you get to pet them. Yeah, I love rides. Um, I grew up not far from Cedar Point in Ohio and we would go ride roller coasters. So I'm kind of like an adrenaline junkie in a roller coaster realm. So I had fun on the rides. We'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Bye.